there guys, Jordan and Leno here, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love my Note 3. So I decided to purchase the best friend to the Note 3, which is the Gear 2 Neo, part of the Gear lineup. So let's unbox it and see what we get. So for the most part, specs don't really matter anymore because they've gotten so good, especially on smartwatches. But for the sake of those spec heads out there, I'll just inform you that it comes with a half gig of RAM and four gigs internal. But for the features, you're gonna get a 1.6 inch Super AMOLED display, water and dust resistance, and a microphone to make and receive phone calls. So you can see that Samsung doesn't defray from the usual wood and nature theme. Opening it, you're going to find the Gear 2 Neo front and center, the charging cradle, which is the only way to charge your watch, so don't lose it, and you're going to find a USB cable, some paperwork tucked away, and that's pretty much it. The watch itself is very visually appealing. The watch band on the outside has this really nice textured pattern, and on the inside these little ridges, and that oh so gimmicky heart rate sensor, which I'm going to do some testing on myself. And that metal clasp, which is, surprise, surprise, the only metal on the entire device. So hopefully you knew this beforehand and that you can only pair this with Samsung devices from the Galaxy S3 and up. So take your phone and make sure you have the Gear Manager app installed and follow the directions. After installing a few firmware updates, I completed my setup to my Note 3, and something a little funny is that the Pebble is still connected to my phone at the same time. But speaking of Pebble, just a quick comparison, the Gear 2 is clearly a much prettier device, but from what I'm seeing, not as durable. Considering that that's Gorilla Glass 3 on the Gear's front, and not Pebble's seemingly indestructible plastic. I'm gonna make sure to spend some quality time with the gear and have a full review and find out what I do like and what I don't like. So stay tuned. But anyways, this has been Jordan in the Gnome and thank you for watching.